I have a great collection of books on creativity and ways to get your ideas flowing. As artists, sometimes we get stuck. So then you reach out for books like these and all of a sudden you're unstuck. So subscribe to my channel if you like this series. I'm going to have more reviews of books. But let's dive in and look at these books. Hi and welcome back. We're going to cover creativity books this time. And these I really like. They're a little heavier read. They're not the kind of book that you look at for pictures. They're the kind of book you look at for inspiration. So this one is by Ted Godwin, a professional handout or handbook for the emerging artist. So it's got all kinds of ideas. Here you can go through and first things first. What do you do first when you're getting organized? How do you organize your studio? How do you do tools? Paintings. How do you organize your paintings? How do you frame? How do you photograph? How do you record your paintings? It's important as an artist for you to record everything you do. And this is a very good beginner book. It actually won an award and I've used it a lot over the years. So Ted, you did a good job. This is, um, this is another creativity book that actually is, I loved it. I was surprised I liked it. So Mihaly, and I can't pronounce the last name, it wrote a book on creativity. In fact, I read several of his books and it talks about how as artists, we get into a flow. Our best paintings come when we get into that state of mind where it's only us and the painting. And he explains a lot of that and how to get into that flow. So that's what I got out of this book. It's a really good book for that. Living the Artist's Life. This is another guide to growing your business by Paul Durrell. It covers basics. It covers how to organize your studio, what to do when you meet people and how to talk to people, different things that you need to organize, your paints, your brushes, your um, whole studio setup so that it's easy for you to do. Uh, he talks about different people and how they organize them. That This is a really good book too. Paul Durrell, The Courage to Create by Rollo May. This is a book that tells you that if you're an artist, you need courage because it's really hard. You create on your own, you create original ideas, and then people really don't understand what you do most of the time. So courage is a big factor in being an artist. He goes through how creativity works and when you're blocked, what you can do to unblock it. So this is a really good book for that. One of my favorites is I'd Rather Be in the Studio by Alison Stanfield. She goes through every single step that you need to become an artist. She puts it down really straight. She tells you it's not easy being an artist. You need to be organized. You need to be develop a business sense. You need to develop skills in talking to people. And she goes through step by step on how to get yourself organized. This is an older version of the book. The newer versions even talk about how to use the internet. So this is a must. I would say put this on your list. One of the more inspirational books that I've had is The Painter's Keys by Robert Gann. This is a book about an artist that's from Vancouver and how he actually made it as an artist from nothing to being a very famous artist and all his steps. It talks about his work, his life, and great ideas that he has for every artist. He's very practical. He tells you exactly what you should be doing and also gives you a lot of encouragement in this book. So this is a really good book too. Why We Make Art 
Now, this is a really big topic, and it's a little heavier read, this one, but it really explains what our, motivates us to be creative. As artists, we hit the high spectrum when it comes to creativity, and it comes out to our need to create artwork and how each person is really different and all your backgrounds, all your different uh, things you experienced will influence your artwork. So this is why we create art by Richard Hickman. It's also a good book. The classic of all classics is this one, Art and Fear. This is probably one of the very first books I ever read about creating art. And this author really does talk about what, how we're all a little bit afraid when we create our artwork. Because you create your artwork, you put it out there, and the first thing people do is critique it. It makes you afraid sometimes to really paint what your inner self is telling you to paint. And this is a perfect book about that. Art and Fear, it's a classic. It's been around for many years and it's still helpful for artists. Here's another book on creativity. Again, I like this book and I liked it because it covers something different from the other books. Arthur Copley actually covers a guide to teaching and educating creativity. Now, I didn't take it to be able to teach. I took it to find out how to teach myself to be more creative. So that's a book that you can use for that. And last of all is another book on creativity that I used when I did my master's degree, actually. And I love this book because it talks about the different steps to creativity and how we can generate more creative ideas. That's not an easy task, but this is a really good book for that. Generating ideas, creativity, enhancing creativity. That's the book for you for this one. So that's it for now. This is my humongous pile on creativity. And I hope there's one, at least one in here for you. So subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. I intend to make more uh, book reviews. I hope it helps you. So we'll see you in the next video.